il y a 50 ans, 50 years ago, there were more than 100,000 black rhinoceroses in Africa. Today, 96% of the population has disappeared because of illegal poaching. To protect the survivors, rangers must anticipate and know their location constantly. They use ultralight drones equipped with cameras that ply the nature reserves. High-resolution images are geo-referenced, rhinoceros are detected, and their positions are stored in a geographic information system. This makes it possible to represent animals on geographical maps and to organize the monitoring of these areas. The introductory course of Geographic Information Systems, GIS, will teach you to master the different phases of the cycle of geo-information, from the acquisition to the representation through the storage and the analysis. Geodata, generally the values of a variable, such as altitude, temperature, or soil moisture, can be acquired through various methods, such as satellite or airborne, with airplanes, helicopters, or drones, or simply by land measures. These raw geodata are interpreted to identify geographic objects, such as buildings, roads, or plots of land, which are then associated to properties, such as name, use, or surface. To facilitate its use, geographic information is stored in databases. The hosting of these different kinds of data imposes a structure and a rigorous organization, which can become complex. Thanks to these databases, Geographic Information System softwares access information effectively. The manipulation of geodata is facilitated by integrated tools that allow the analysis of landscape features, for example, which are not easy to apprehend on the field. Other algorithms make available spatial analysis functions whose role is to highlight recognizable structures on the territory capable of revealing relations between the analyzed geographical objects and climate parameters, for example. Finally, you will learn how GIS systems allow to represent the properties of analyzed objects. By following this introductory course on geographic information systems, you will learn to produce quality cartographic documents, and you will discover methods of advanced representation in three and four dimensions. The team that contributed to the presentation of this MOOC is composed of Max Outer, of the Geographical Information System Laboratory of the EPFL, of Amadou Sal, Environmental of the Ecological Monitoring Center in Dakar, Senegal, of Stefan Yost, of the Geographical Information System Laboratory of the EPFL, and of Fernand Gomez, of the University Center of Applied Research and Remote Sensing of the Felix Houfoutbaini University in Abidjan, Ivory Coast.